Yeah, let's go fuck some shit up, motherfuckers. How thought I heal up? Let's heal myself first. That's a good thing. Heal yourself first. Okay, we almost there. Oh, I did not want to do that. I have a package here from a client who asked to deliver it to a person called Elitian in the town of Munham. You can ask the people there for direction. I have never been to Munham, so I'm not familiar with that place. But for some reason, the name rings a bell. Well, it sounds like an easy job. It sure does. And off you go. I have marked the location on your map. Mondhelm. This is rainy. Man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I lost a fucking fish. You can kiss my black ass. Yeah. Motherfucking piece of shit shock. That motherfucking shit ain't shit. Fuck that bitch. I'm about to craft some shit. Go in there and craft some shit. I hate that lens crafters. Alright, so... Crap, none of these motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Hmm. OJ. What I could do. Pull out all these wood. Yeah. Say fuck that mission at this moment. Get all these pine woods out this hole. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, ho. Yeah. Hit him with that dog whistle. Okay. Let's start. Craft. Lens crafters. What? Oh, shit. It's one of them motherfuckers. So you got a craft in the middle of the mid of the game. Oh, I want I found some shit. Craft that bitch. What?
You know what? Fuck this bullshit. This shit ain't gonna do shit for me. Sell all these hoes. Fuck all this shit. We about to go on a mission. Okay, what's the... Got eight hours in. Wow. And this game's supposed to be a 28-hour game. I'm gonna tell you. I'm getting really fucking bored. Okay. Got the mackerel. Gotta wait to the next fucking day. No bueno. Doom. Oh, this place sure is a dump. Hmm. Nally, what a surprise. Of all places, what are you doing here? I was waiting here for you, Robin. Waiting for me? I don't understand. I'm here on the job. I know I was the one who asked for the package to be delivered. But why? What am I doing here? Is this some kind of setup? Look around, Robin. What do you see? What do you mean? It's all been... It's all burned down. Open the package you brought with you. It's for you. This is all sort of weird, Natalie. Hmm, what is this? Some old glasses. They look a little bit burned and twisted. These grassless, my Natalie. These are my father's glasses. Very good, Robin. Those were his glasses. I used to put them on sometime when I was a kid. It was too big for my head. But the glass was clear. It had no lens, just glass. Father told me a secret that he did not really need those glasses because his eyes were fine, but they made him look wiser. He was a funny man, your father. And this, this house, is this my home, Natalie? Are these ruins my home? Slow down, Robin, take a deep breath. You're doing great. Things are coming back to you, finally, but let's take a rest. I remember now, the night my father died, the night everyone died. Oh shit. Do 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 sports center. I remember waking up from that from the smoke that night. I could hardly breathe and my heart was racing when I ran downstairs. I could hear mother screams. I found the still bodies of my parents in a pool of blood with their throat slit. When I saw my mother's lifeless eyes staring into nothingness and sparkling with reflection of the flames. What the hell? This moving so fast. I can't read this. From the corner of my eyes, I saw a silhouette walking out of the burning house. My mind was blank with rage. Instead of words, only a wild scream escaped my throat. Mm-hmm. He turned around, glanced at me with a smug smile on his face, and proceeded to walk away. Laughed. It was Lord Linklin. I remember now. Oh shit, Lord Linklin. That's that nigga name. This is all must come as a shock to you. I'm terribly sorry you had to go through all this again. I will not fail this time or avenge my family. Let's not do anything rash. We need a good plan and execution. Lord Linklin is a very powerful person. Uncle to the crown prince and the head of the empire guard. Obviously, you cannot storm the palace and attack them in public. I know, you are right. The emperor is a good man. He knew your father. He should seek, you should seek an audience with him and try to make a case. Why haven't you done that in the last year and a half? Robin, it's not like I didn't want to. Trust me, I near I never lived with your family, and we don't even share the same name. There is no case without a witness. Everyone is dead. You, on the other hand, can represent your house. I wasn't there on the night it happened. I have no proof it was Lord Lincoln, but I know it in my heart. It must have been him for sure. You see, there is no way I can have made a case. 
It is you who has to speak to the Emperor in person. How are we going to do this? I can't simply walk into the palace and seek an audience. Not with the Lord Lincoln being a head of the Emperor's guard. Leave it to me. I have some ideas and I will make arrangements. For now, you should go back to your place and I will contact you in time. Alright, that might be the best. I will need some time to think about all this. The brick, the brick, the bricks. The brick, the brick, the bricks. Damn, that's fucked up. So apparently she ain't the mama. Before we go... Hmm. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm fucking shit up in this game. Hey Robin, here's your reward for the package delivery. Thanks, Jen. Hey, why the long face? What's up? I'm fine, it's nothing. Come on, Robin, I know you. Something's up. You can talk to me. I remember now everything. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Hey, let me pour you a drink and you can tell me all about it. Oh shit. Wow. That is one hell of a story. Robin, I am really sorry about your family. Dealing with that all oh, must be very tough. You have to be strong now and very careful as well. I have mixed feelings about it. On one hand, I wish I hadn't remembered any of it. I had a good life here. I was happy and content. But when I think of my parents now, I really, really miss them. My, hair, my heart hurts, Jen. It hurts more than a knife to the guts and I feel so alone. <clears throat> You're not alone, Robin. This may never replace what is lost, but you have new friends now and people who care about you. You're one of us now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dear. It's okay to cry. Let it out. Thanks, Jen. Stay strong, Robin. Hang in there. Let me know if you need any work. Getting busy might help ease your mind a bit. Wow. And the plot thickens. Do 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 do. Sports Center. <laughs>